Lee's bold attack at Beaver Dam Creek, combined with the arrival of Stonewall Jackson, convinced McClellan to abandon his supply line on the Pamunkey River. His new plan was to remove the Union Army from outside Richmond and resupply it at the James River before renewing his effort to take the city. On June 27, 1862, Porter's V Corps fell back from Beaver Dam Creek to a new defensive position behind Boson's Creek near Gaines Mill. Porter was to act as a rear guard, buying time for other parts of the Union Army to begin their withdrawal toward the James. Lee's Confederates, now numbering about 60,000 men after the addition of Jackson's forces, pursued Porter closely. Finding the V Corps with its back to the Chickahominy River, Lee concentrated his army around New Cold Harbor and Old Cold Harbor, and then attacked. Deadly short-range firing in the woods along Boson's Creek led to extraordinarily heavy casualties on both sides. Late in the day, Porter received one division of reinforcements from across the river. The Confederate attacks grew in strength. Eventually, all of Lee's forces joined the battle. A determined attack across the Union front proved too strong for Porter's men to repulse. General John B. Hood's brigade broke the left center of the Union position, and the rest of the line soon toppled. A dramatic twilight charge by Union cavalry under General Philip Cook was ineffective. The sun set on the disorganized and scattered remnants of Porter's Corps as it crossed the Chickahominy, looking to join the rest of McClellan's army. Gaines Mill was Lee's first victory as army commander, but his army lost 9,000 men killed and wounded in the process. Porter's losses approached 6,000, but the momentum clearly lay with the Confederates. Lee's soldiers would aggressively pursue McClellan's army for the remainder of the seven days' battles. <laughs> 